Hello everyone, my name is Saad, your favorite realtor and today I'm back with another informative value fact video for you on the Valley Project. So most of the people that have reached out to me for the Valley Project are investors who are looking to make capital gains on their investment in the Valley Project. So this is going to be a cash flow analysis report to see the best exit strategy for your investment in the Valley Project and also number two, how you could use this exit strategy to get a discount on your property purchase, all right? This video will also apply to the end users who want to see maybe when they could sell their properties, the best times to sell their properties, or just to see how their properties could appreciate over time. So let's get into it, into the numbers. So this is how your payment plan looks like in the Valley project. This is an expected payment plan. It's going to be mostly 90, 10, 90% during construction stage, 10% at handover. So mostly it's gonna break down to look like this. Your first installment is gonna be of 10%, with the 4% DLD fees and another 10% later, which is going to be next month. And then 20% in 2024, 20% in 2025. And this is going to be a 30% block over here in 2026 because the installment is going to be 15% each in 2026. And then your handover payments of 10%. Now, this is not something that is set in stone. The payment plan could be changed a little bit because it's not out yet, but this is the expected payment plan from my study. This is mostly how it's going to be like. Now let's take the example if our starting prices are from 1.8 million, all right? Now you, one thing to note is that Imar has made the resale clause at 50%. That means after you have completed 50% payment of your property, you're open to sell it in the market or to anyone else. So let's go straight to the 50% point, which is going to be in May 2025. Now. Keep in mind, in May 2025, there's going to be three or four clusters of the valley handed over already. People are going to be moved into the valley. People are, there's going to be residents in the valley. There's going to be people renting out in the valley, people buying and selling in the valley. So valley is going to be really an active community, an alive community at that point, two years from now. So in two years from now, we can easily expect in our conservative case, the price is to be at 2.3 million at the 50% stage of your payments. So now, at the 50% stage, so far you've paid, if you add all these numbers, at the 50% stage, you've paid this value of 972,000 dirhams is paid by you so far to the developer. Now, if you sell the property at 2.3 million price, you stand to make a profit of 428,000, which gives you an ROE, return on equity of 44%, which is great for a time frame of less than two years from now. So in my opinion, this right here, is one of the best exit points for the Valley project at the 50% stage in May of 2025. And now if you look at the other examples, now it depends from every investor has a different, uh, different goal. So maybe you're trying to get the most profit out of your investment. If that's the case, the best strategy for you would be to sell it at handover when the property is ready. So at this point, you've invested 1.872 million, including the 4% DLD with an expected selling price of 2.7 million, which is very, very, very conservative. You stand to make a profit of 828,000, which is again an ROE of 44%. Now, if you look at these numbers are very conservative in our case one, all right? Now, if we look at a more optimistic case where we can expect the prices to be a little more higher. Now, at the 50% stage, again, when you look at this, 2.3 million was our conservative case in our optimistic case if the price is 2.5 million, which is again really optimistic, like it's optimistic but still conservative, 2.5 million and you've paid so far 972,000, you stand to make a profit of 628,000 dirhams, which makes it an ROE of 64% in less than two years. Less than two years, your ROE in our optimistic case, which is again a conservative optimistic case, 64%. And now you can study the different exit points. And if you look to sell at handover in May of 2027 with the price of 3 million selling price, you stand to make a profit of 1.28 million, which again makes it a 60% ROE and a clean profit of more than 1.1 million dirhams. All right, this is a conservative optimistic case. Why? Because let's take the example of Dubai Hills. In Dubai Hills, in Maple townhouses, a three bedroom townhouse today is selling anywhere between 3.8 to 4.3 million in Dubai Hills. Now, a valley townhouse is very, very comparable to the townhouses in the Maple. Similar sizes, similar kind of layout, similar kind of plots. 
and Valley is going to be a community which is going to be very comparable in size with Dubai Hills. It's going to be very comparable in size, equal level of finishing, equal level, the same developer. You're going to have all kinds of amenities, even more amenities than Dubai Hills. So Valley long term, 3 million selling price at 2027 is still a very conservative target for us because the prices could easily be more than 3 million. It could easily be around 3.2, 3.3 million because in 2025, even 2027, even these prices are going to be higher. These are going to be at 5 million plus easily. So the Valley has a lot of room to grow. And in our optimistic case, with the selling price of 3 million, you stand to make 1.12 million profit with an ROE of 60%. Now, this is an exit strategy, cash flow analysis, different points of exit strategy. Every investor has a different plan. Maybe you only want to make 800,000. So this could be the ideal exit point for you. Maybe you only want to make 600,000 like, and it also depends like if you have the entire capacity to pay the full price or you're only looking to invest with having 70% of the price in your pocket and you are looking to exit somewhere here. So it depends investor to investor for this report. You can get in touch with me and I would be very, very, very happy to share it with you. Now there's another thing that I want to discuss with you using these exit strategies, how you could get a discount on your property purchase. Because if you take a look at the big investors, they buy rows of townhouses, they buy bulk of townhouses, they buy four townhouses, six townhouses, eight townhouses. Why are they doing this? They're making their first few townhouses pay off for the other few townhouses. So they buy, for example, four townhouses, they make the first two townhouses pay off for the second two townhouses. So they get heavy discounts on the remaining two townhouses that they end up keeping. So if you have to scale this down completely, which makes it to two units, all right? This is how you can make a profit. You can look at it as a profit or a discount on your first unit. So you buy two units instead of one, the first one to sell, the second one to keep. Now, taking a look at these exit strategies, again, using the conservative case, let's say at the 50% stage, you sell the property at 2.3 million, you make a profit of 428,000. Now, if you subtract this profit from your purchase price, your effective price becomes 1.44 million, and that makes it almost a 20% discount on your property purchase. 1.44 million for a three bedroom townhouse in the Valley project. That's a steal. That's almost very close to the initial starting prices of the first clusters that was launched. Now, if you take this example further, if you go further in this example, let's say at the handover stage, you sell your property at 2.7 million, you make a profit of 828,000. If you subtract this 828,000 from your original buying price, that makes the effective price 1.04 million. 1.04 million for a three bedroom townhouse in the Valley project. That makes it a 42% discount on your property purchase value. This is exactly what big investors do to reduce their costs on their properties, to get huge discounts on their properties, to make their effective prices very, very low so that they make huge profits in the future. This again was a conservative case. Now look at it. Now let's look at a more optimistic case. Again, this is, same, the same chart from the exit strategy with the same optimistic pricing. So let's say we sell this townhouse at the price of 2.5 million, the first townhouse in May 2025. You stand to make a profit of 628,000. When you subtract this from your paid, from your original price, that makes it a price, effective price on your townhouse of 1.24 million, and that makes it a 31% discount. All right. Now, if we take this example further, you can see. If we push this further, what kind of discounts you can have on your property? Let's say at handover, you sell the property at 3 million, you make a profit of 1.12 million, you subtract that from your original price, that makes it an effective price of 744,000 dirhams for a three bedroom townhouse in the valley, making it almost a 59% discount on your property purchase. This is exactly what big time investors are doing to get heavy discounts on their property purchases. They use their first townhouse to pay off for the second townhouse and get a huge discount. And when this sells for a high price, you can only imagine what's your ROE in that case. So I'd be more than happy to share these reports with you that I've made. 
If you would like to have a copy of these, please feel free to get in touch with me on WhatsApp. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is something that you can't just do with any property consultant or realtor. You need an experienced property consultant who has done this in the past, who can handhold you through the process, who can customize a strategy for you depending on your goals with this investment plan. So please feel free to get in touch with me and I can sit down and strategize with you what you are looking to achieve with your investment, what kind of profits are you targeting for and what is the best strategy for us to help you achieve those kind of investment profits that you're looking for. So once again, the Valley launch is coming up in the next 10 days. If you're looking to buy one unit or if you're looking to buy multiple units to apply one of these strategies, please feel free to get in touch with me. We'll have a consultation call to understand your goals and your requirements and I'll be really happy to help you out. So if you found this video helpful and informative, please make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more value to provide to you in my future videos. This is Saad Dubai Realtor signing off.